So we know it's not Disney, but we're super excited for CBS's new Supergirl show. And here's six minutes of the pilot slash trailer slash something. Yeah, just enjoy. Here you go. My name is Kara Zor-El. 24 years ago, my planet was in peril. My cousin, Kal-El, was sent to a planet called Earth. You may know his story, but you don't know mine. On Earth, you will do extraordinary things. Until now. You must go. I love you, Kara. about the correspondence dinner. I need to make sure Ms. Grant doesn't end up next to Bill O'Reilly again. Hey, um, I was wondering if maybe you want to, I don't know, go see a movie at night. I can't. I I'm sorry. I have a date. Date? Hmm? Fun. Dating is fun. She's here. How do you do that? The only reason I bought this building was because it had a private elevator. That way, I don't have to get soaked in cheap cologne every morning getting to my office, find out who used it, have them reprimanded or bathed. I don't care which. Here's your latte. Hot. Oh, that'll be new and different. Hello? I've seen this picture. You won a Pulitzer. Yeah, only because it was the first real shot of a little secret. He actually posed for that. Guess he likes me. Oh, my God. You're Jimmy Olsen, the photographer from the Daily Planet. James Olsen. I never got your name. Gosh. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, Kara. <laughs> wow. I have a conference in Geneva, and I need to be on a plane in two hours. I have a blind date in a half an hour, and I need you to help me pick out what to wear. Why do you do this to me? Because I'm your sister, and you love me. I feel like I'm not living up to my potential. I just fetch layouts and coffee. You always wanted to be normal. This is what normal looks like. I'm not normal. I can lift a bus, stop a bullet, Alex. I can fly. At least I think I can. By 2.37, bound for Geneva, is circling the city after an engine failure. Did he say Geneva? Alex. We just lost another engine. We're going down. Brace for impact. yourself you're out there now Kara everyone will know about you and you can't take that back I, I don't want to media magnet Kat Grant of National City's new female hero Supergirl we can't name her that we didn't shouldn't she be called super woman what do you think is so bad about girl I'm a girl and your boss and powerful and rich and hot and smart. So if you perceive Supergirl as anything less than excellent, isn't the real problem you? Kara? I'm going to tell you something about me that for most of my life, I've run from it. But last night, I embraced who I am and I don't want to stop. Oh my God, you're a lesbian. Oh, Kara, that's why you're not into me. This is, this is, this is great news. I'm you not gay, I'm her. The woman who saved the plane. <laughs> okay, right. Carl, what are you doing? Hey, Cara! You're her. Yep. <laughs> I'm not flying around saving people in this thing. Where's my cape? Capes are lame. You tell your cousin I said so. Actually, never, never do that. <clears throat> so. To be a superhero, you need a crime. There's a car chase on the 112 freeway. I could do a car chase. A cape aids with aerodynamics. I should have thought of that. West National City Bank. Suspects are armed and dangerous. Are you, uh, you sure you're bulletproof? Hope so. All right, the new cape is made from a structured polymer composite. It's much sturdier than... And, uh... <laughs> 
This one has the S for super, just like your cousin. It's not an S. It's my family's coat of arms, the House of L. Welcome to the Department of Extra Normal Operations. The DEO monitors and protects Earth from extraterrestrial presence. These beings, some of them are powers from your darkest nightmares. I can help you stop them. I don't trust aliens. You want to help? Go back to getting someone's coffee. Kara, it's me. I know what you're thinking, but the world needs you to fly. And so do I. So what do we do now? First things first. You need to change. This is my fight song. I didn't travel 2,000 light years just to be an assistant. People of this city will die. Ah! You have to let me stop it. Make sure you win. cousin wanted me to do this? Why did he just tell me? Because he wanted you to choose it for yourself. Same way he did. Here, from him. It's the blanket he was wrapped in when he was a baby. Apparently, this cape won't shred. Thank you. Now, don't you have a city to protect? You know, up, up, and away? <laughs> ah! 